Netanyahu looking for allies to fight Tehran. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is visiting France amid important news coming from the Middle East. Iran formally accused Israel of attacking a military plant in Isfahan, which exacerbated the situation in the Gaza Strip. In the meantime, a visit to meet French President Emmanuel Macron, who sees himself as the only Western European leader seeking to maintain contact with the Kremlin, may be linked to Netanyahu's declaration that he is willing to mediate in the Russian-Ukrainian conflict as long as Moscow does not support Iran. Russian Nezavizimaya Gazeta writes, According to Netanyahu, the main topic of conversation will be Iran and combined efforts to confront its aggression and nuclear weapons. At the same time, it is possible that Ukraine was also in the center of attention of both leaders. In any case, in an interview with CNN on Wednesday, Netanyahu actually linked the topic of the Russian-Ukrainian conflict and the current aggravation of Israeli-Iranian relations. France is now playing a crucial role in shaping the European Union's policy in relation to the Russian-Ukrainian crisis, while Macron continues to show willingness to broker a resolution. However, he is unlikely to satisfy the Kremlin as an intermediary, leading researcher at the Institute of Europe of the Russian Academy of Sciences, Sergei Fedorov, told the newspaper. Macron has largely discredited himself as a negotiating partner after publicly revealing the content of his confidential conversation with Vladimir Putin. He added, previous attempts at negotiations between Russia and Ukraine were mediated by Turkey. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan is not giving up hope of getting the honor of peacemaker who ends the crisis between Moscow and Kiev. According to the expert, he is unlikely to share it with Netanyahu.